Hey guys, Brandon from Brandon's Baseball Cards here. I wanted to share uh, quickly a really uh, pleasant customer service experience that I've had with Robert Ebert Auctions. They're a major auction house. Uh, they're based in New Jersey. I, uh, they're one of the premier sports card auction houses in the country and I uh, bid with them a lot. I've had Calvin Arnold, who's the consignment director for REA. I've had him on my uh, Collecting Vintage Unopened podcast. Really, really nice guy, and he has a hell of an unopened collection. But in any event, uh, I won. They have uh, what are called Encore Auctions, okay, which they run almost monthly. And I won a few, or a, a lot of a few packs, five cello packs, in the most recent auction that ended Sunday night. And the shipping cost, I got the invoice yesterday morning, and the shipping cost was $20 for five raw cello packs. And that's way too high. Uh, and so I was kind of in a hurry yesterday morning, so I paid it, not really paying attention, you know, not really thinking too much about it. But then I woke up this morning and, and I said, you know what, I'm going to reach out to REA and uh, bring this to their attention. Sent them an email explaining, hey, I think the shipping costs are too high. Nine minutes later, they send me an email response saying that, yes, they made a mistake. Uh, and there was a $10 refund uh, credited to my bank account that I used to pay for the items. So within 10 minutes, they acknowledge, number one, they acknowledge they made a mistake, which is a big thing, and then they refunded me uh, after acknowledging they made a mistake. So kudos to Robert Edward Auctions. Check them out if you haven't uh, uh, utilized them before. They have some amazing items every month uh, um, in their Encore auctions, and then they also, of course, have their big summer auction and their, uh, their winter or fall auction, I forget what they're each called, but they've got some incredible items and top-notch customer service. So thank you, REA. Hope you all have a good day. Keep collecting vintage on open baseball, everybody.